This is a release for your peroneal muscles. We'll do both an active and a, and a static release. So your peroneal muscles sit down the outside of your leg. So starting at the top of your fibula, they attach just above and then they run all the way down, down behind the ankle into the foot. But it's only really this portion here, you can see the muscle popping out just there, which is a good muscle belly. Then it becomes very tenderness as it runs down here. So when we work it with a roller, we're only going to really work this upper portion. Why we're going to do it is using our roller. I'm on a soft surface purely for the sake of camera angles. We would do it on a hard floor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my side so that I have the roller down the outside of my leg, okay? And I'm going to start fairly close to the knee, but it should be soft. If I'm going onto it, it feels like hard, like bone, then I'm too high and I'll come down just slightly, okay? And then I'll place my body so I'm nice and straight. Yeah, so hips stacked, um, shoulders stacked. Put my leg over leg and you can see I sort of do like this banana position. To, and then apply the top legs, applying a bit of overpressure down onto the peroneal, uh, peroneal muscle group. So I can roll along and just move along. And what I'm looking for is feeling, just feeling how the muscle feels, if there's anything particularly tender. Like I said, I'll only work the upper sort of third, two thirds of the leg. What I can do to get a bit of an active, an active stretch through it, is I can either have the overpressures for the leg resting or I can actually put a foot on and apply a bit further pressure down that way and then start with the toes pointed away and turned in and apply a bit of overpressure bring the foot towards me and turn it out and then hold for two seconds and release and move down a bit so lock it so the alternate locks just for the weight of the leg so lock so, sorry toes pointing away lock bring the foot up and then you're turning it out at the end holding for two seconds and then release move down a bit point the foot so it's the bottom foot you see i've got the bottom foot pointed and sort of turned upwards towards the ceiling over pressure of the top leg and then bring the foot towards me and now i'm turning it out towards the floor hold it for two seconds and then release. And I can run up and down, up and down in this manner, the lock, stretch, one, two, release. When I've done that, what you can do, if you feel like there's something tender there which just isn't going, is you can just go on to the tender point, apply a bit of the, apply a weight from the other leg and then just relax onto it. And you just relax, try and relax all your body to get yourself in a comfortable position and then just wait 30 seconds to two minutes and the tenderness should start to dissipate the muscle should feel like it releases and then it should go if it's still hanging in the last two minutes come off it move the roller slightly left or right up or down and then just let it and then just try there it'll be not as tender release that and then move back onto the point